for the week. We're going to start um, this week with just a, I think it's a 31 minute and 50 second cycle or uh, circuit that's going to have um, five main exercises to it. And then the sixth one will be our core work. So uh, each of these five, we're going to do the 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. We'll focus on uh, chest, shoulders, and triceps. The first um, exercise is a kickstand deadlift to a reverse lunge. So this will take your set of dumbbells. One foot is going far back as though, you know, get in position like for your reverse lunge. So think again of railroad ties. That should be about your, you know, hip width uh, distance apart. So your reverse lunge, of course, is here. And then as I come up with both of those dumbbells, I'm hinging forward. The dumbbells are along my leg. I'm squeezing, I'm pressing in that front heel, squeezing my glutes to come up right again. All right, so reverse lunge here into that deadlift with the one foot back. Uh, then we've got, then we've got uh, side lunge with a single arm overhead press. So on uh, this one, uh, we're gonna go side to side. You're gonna keep the feet wide. Uh, you will be side lunging, overhead press, come up right, switch sides and then overhead press to that side. Exercise three is gonna, we're gonna go down to the mat for the next three. So you've got push-ups with an alternating leg raise. Okay, so we'll push up, leg raise, obviously come modify your knees if you need it. Exercise four, then will be skull crushers. So we're already on the mat. You'll bring your medium, your medium dumbbells. I'd say, uh, you know, you need, need that medium set for just about everything. I think everything we're doing today will just be that you'll use one weight or both. Um, so next one will be on the mat. We'll do skull, skull pressures. So those are knees are bent and single or double weights bringing toward your forehead. And then the fifth one will be chest press. We're going to alternate wide. So that's elbows out to the side, palms facing down to my feet. And then narrow palms will come together and your elbows will be along your sides pressing out and back okay with bent knees and then around six will be um just an alternating core so this will be we'll go through all five of those do our core set and then we'll be back to the start with this kickstand deadlifts to the reverse lunge so grab your medium weights to start we'll get started i'll get the timer started 40 seconds on 20 seconds off i will remind you what we're doing as we get um as we get moving, first one, kickstand deadlift, go. So whatever foot is forward, we're going to alternate in that next round. Okay, kickstand deadlift, reverse lunge. Think about that front heel. Good breathing here in through your nose, out your mouth. And just take one weight in hand for this one. It might be that set, it might be just one slightly lighter. Step those feet apart, we're gonna alternate side to side for this. So a side lunge with an overhead press on that same side, and then we'll switch to the other side. Here we go. Go. Side lunge, overhead press. Keep it going. I felt like we hadn't done this format in a couple weeks, so. Break. All right. Exercise three is going to be the push up with the leg raise. So come down to the mat. You're going to want those dumbbells close by for our next set. Here we go. Push ups with alternating leg raise. Go. Thank you. 
Good work, you're almost there, five seconds. Great, all right, grab those dumbbells. We've got skull pressures first. We'll get in position. So, check your lower back, make sure you're not arching. You should be pressing that lower back to the mat. Lift the tailbone a little bit. Someone feel free to rename this exercise. Skull crushers is just a terrible uh, mental image. Ooh. Great. Good. Next one's going to be a chest press. We're going to alternate. Remember wide and narrow. So your elbows will come out to your side. You'll press and then bring those elbows onto the side and press. Keep breathing. Good, good. All right, go ahead and stay on your back. We'll do a core set. We're down here. Well, we're down here. Uh, feet come up in the air for toe taps. Go ahead and start whenever you're ready. Just 40 seconds here. Keep moving. Toe taps. Then we're gonna be back on our feet for those kickstand deadlifts to reverse lunge. I hope you remember which foot you had forward. Mine was left, so I will switch to my right the next round. Good, keep crunching. Great. All right, on your feet. Opposite foot forward from what you did before. Get ready in that reverse lunge stance. Oh, <laughs> not sure if you hear my family noise in the background. Henry's got a cough. And it's not a delicate one. Nothing my family does is delicate though, so that is not surprising. Break. All right, single weight now. We've got those side lunges. Side lunges, alternating overhead press. Step those feet wide. Here we go. Go. Mm -hmm. 
Rest that seat back. Break. All right, on the mat. Push ups with alternating leg raise. Here we go. Go. Squeeze those bones. With my work travel, well, I picked up a couple of books actually. So we're doing um, through work. We're all reading together a book called The Three Chairs. Um, it's a really quick read, but about kind of really a lot about just attitude, uh, emotional intelligence, right? Attitude, emotional intelligence how much that attitude impacts kind of all that you do and your behaviors. Uh, next one is chest press. It's, I think it's number three on the uh, eBooks or Amazon's, you know, bestseller list. Um, but the author, so chest press, again, alternating wide to narrow. Uh, the author is a friend of our CEO. So I have a parent company, he sits in Canada, that is my boss. He is the CEO um, of the Canada entity, and then, and then they own us. So he is my boss. This is a good, this is a friend of his. So I was a little hesitant at first. I'm like, okay, friend, recommendation, not necessarily solid, but I really did. I really liked it. Um, it's called Three Shares. Like I said, really quick read. Um, so I would recommend that one, great. And then, let's see, now we're on to abs again. That was a quick one, huh? Okay, now we're on to abs. This time we're gonna heel tap. Okay, alternating heel tap. Again, think about that lower back pressing down. Each heel's gonna skim the floor and then back up again. My knees are slightly bent, yours can be bent or straight. More challenge, the straighter they are. Um, so enjoying that, and then I picked up again as recommended uh, a friend let me borrow Firefly Lane, which there was that Netflix series. Um, I did not love the Netflix series. In fact, I did, really didn't even like it. Um, but somebody said, "Oh, the a couple people said, oh, the book is so much better." So I'm just a little ways break on our feet for those kicks the end of this. We're gonna switch sides again. This is round three. We only have five rounds, so we're a good bit of a way through, through here. Um, go. So that means on our last round, we are going to, sorry, I'm gonna keep my balance. That's what I'm gonna do. But that last round, I'm going to tell you 20 seconds in, we're going to switch our feet so we hit each side evenly. 
Um, it's not very far, a couple chapters into Firefly Lane, but I think I can already attest to better than this series. Great. All right, next one, those wide stamps, uh, side lunges with an overhead press. Here we go. So I'll share too because I think I whined when I did that half marathon. I didn't do as well as I wanted and I took off too fast. But then I did that 10 miler last weekend. I was really pretty pleased with how I did. Not so much time, I mean, it was fine, but just that I felt good. And that because that was my biggest bummer during the half that I'm like, it shouldn't be this bad. I'm well trained. So this one was better. Good, keep that seat low, press it back. Good work. Break. All right, round three. It's still push ups with leg raises. I know, I wish it worked. It still is. We got this. It's not an out. 40 seconds. Eight seconds to start. All right, get in position, high plank, go. If you wanna modify, just a plank hold with a leg raise will do. Whew. Great, flip, get those weights here by. We're ready for skull pressures. Okay, oh. I don't mind all that time to get in position. Go, that's a good little break. Press that lower back down. I think I told somebody last week I got hooked on the Peloton at the hotel and was doing it, you know, any chance I could, which actually left me a little sore on my return flight home. Ah. Thanks goodness, a different change of pace. It was my inner thighs I felt like that were most sore. It's hard to get that work in here. Break. All right, you've got chest press next. Whew. Get in position. Here we go. Go. Ten seconds left. Great. Good work. Let's come to our feet. Ooh. We're going to pass that core set this time and just do some air squats. So feet hip width apart, knees forward, toes forward. Go when you're ready. Good. 
Yesterday I did a big outdoor cleanup. We, our garden is still going though. It's not been very well tended to. So trying to do some clearing out there so that the tomato plants that are still bearing fruit. Okay, let's see, I'm bending up to the reverse lunge so that they can get a little fresh air. Let's see, second to last round. So, whew. Here we go. Go. Great. All right, side lunge. Single weight. I'm going to start on this side this time. Huh. That's variety. All right, here we go. Remember, drive your seat back. Go. This is a hard back to back set. A lot of bottom work. Got a good set that plan for Tuesday morning. Working in a little variety. Good work. Break. Good, good. Now we're back on the mat. Those dumbbells close by. Push ups with the leg raise. This is round four. Go. Keep it up. Almost there. Five. Ugh. Woo! Great. Roll over. Skull crushers. Oh. oh gosh, I needed this sweat today. Get ready. So, my other read, my third read, is a new daily devotional I picked up. Again, recommended by another friend. It's called Strong. I can, I can shoot you the author if you're interested. I think the first name is Lisa, and I want to say last name's Bevere or something. B E B. Um, but I do recommend it. I feel like a lot of the um, devotionals for targeted at women are targeted at women playing kind of a traditional, a more traditional role. So, great. So I've gotten frustrated with them feeling like they're describing a life situation that I can't relate to as much. All right, chest press, wide and narrow. Um, whew. So this one I felt like is more neutralized, certainly. Go. It's still targeted at women, but I don't think it feels like it, it pegs or it defines a, you know, it defines what that means or has to mean or whatever. So I guess. Whew. I'm 
I'm sure that can be, uh, you know, analyzed or psychoanalyzed about my personality, but I suppose that's some level of guilt or something coming out, but the Lisa Turkhurst, I think, is an author, great, that's really well appreciated. All right, we're going to stay on the mat here. We're going to start with dead bugs. So opposite hand, opposite foot, reach back out. And then rest, knees are above the hips, hands over your shoulders. Pressing your lower back to the mat. I get the core started early, so sorry, you got an extra whistle, but we didn't need all that break, right? Of course, if you do, just take it and jump in when you're ready. Anyway, Lisa Turkhurst also really well, you know, liked female um, Christian author. I like, I like what she's written, but sometimes it feels not really targeted to my life situation. So this one I'm liking a little better. Great. Not to say anything negative about Lisa Turbst. So second book, let me know what you think. All right. Last round. So here's round five. You're going to start uh, start with one foot forward in 20 seconds. I'm going to have you switch sides. Okay, so if you're left forward first, go ahead, deadlift, reverse lunge on this side. And in 10 seconds, we're going to switch out our feet. Switch out your feet. This is so our apple bottoms can be uh, a mirror image of one another, left to right. Great. All right, side lunges, single weight. In a related category of things I'm self-conscious about. That would be my apple bottom. Go. That's why I always think of that song. Apple bottom jeans. Some boots with the curves or something. I won't sing anymore. I'm sure that one won't get flagged for copyright infringement. Given my poor reproduction of sound. You know, maybe I wouldn't be so self-conscious if I could pair, find a pair of darn jeans to fit. Great. I'm still working on that for this season. Maybe just bite the bullet and order some more. All right, we're on the mat. Push-ups, leg raise, your last one. Make it good. Don't quit. Here we go. Go. Great. Flip. Full pressures. Or if you've renamed them, whatever name you gave them. Bend knees. Dumbbells above their chest. Singular double. Go. Maybe we'll call them lifesavers. Strong tricep will keep you safe. Or we can call them our tank tops, right? Because these skull pressures will 
Help us look good and strong in a tank top. Good set. Oh, break. All right, chest press, lie the bear. We're winding down. Good work. You might not like our last 40 second core. You might though. Go. You might not mind it. Oh, yay for endorphins. Yay for their ability to squash the other feelings. Woo! Nothing bad, just, you know, stress. Everybody's got some level of it. Ooh, I try to keep a perspective on my own because I don't feel like I have it that bad by any means. Great. All right, last core is flutter kicks. So get your feet in position. Ouch. <laughs> Knocks my elbow there. When you're ready, kick away. And when you are done being ready, if the time is not up, go ahead and just bend your knees for a crunch. But if you can keep kicking, keep kicking. We have just a mere 32 seconds to go. You have got this. Go, go, go. I'm going to say the faster you kick, the faster the time will go, but mm, I don't think that's how this works. Unfortunately, it is what it is. 13. Five. Oh, God bless. We are done with that. Good work. One arm across your body. Woo. Like crisscross applesauce. We'll stay there a minute. Roll the wrist out. Other side. Good work. That was a pretty quick set, right? Not too bad. Not too bad. Press your elbow overhead. Other side. All right, step the feet apart. Straddle, sit, press forward to your left side. Deep hamstring stretch. Feel that all the way down to your calf. Other side, press to your right, forward fold. Deep hamstring stretch. And then to the center. Butterfly those knees out, feet together, knees apart. Good work. Take one foot cross over the other, spinal twist. Get a deep stretch on those glutes. Other side. We will be on the way. Thanks for joining. Have a good start to your week or whatever it is you do this. Same thing, there's that great bell. Have a